and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for another variant Sudoku today. Now, thank you so much to those who have backed the Kickstarter campaign. It has passed 5,000 backers now. There's still six days to go. Do visit the site if you're interested in getting hold of our book and still influencing what goes in it. That is possible with the stretch goals. Um, we're so grateful to everybody who's got involved. Thank you. Um, now, on Patreon, we still have the monthly um, reward puzzle. I am having to uh, consider recording a video to explain that now. Um, that might happen today as well. And then Simon's also posted a, um, a video on Dave Gorman's latest crossword, which I haven't actually seen yet. Um, it's on the channel already. I'm looking forward to watching that. Um, and Dave Gorman's a, a well-known comedian in the UK um, and is now a well-known cryptic crossword compiler. And Simon's had a go at his latest uh, published effort. So that's going to be very interesting to see. Um, finally, I will just mention the Sam Kappelman Lines um, competition where if you can solve and show us in some elegant way your path um, to solving Sam's very difficult puzzle, which is on the link below the video, that um, will win a piece of merchandise for the person selected as the winner. So. What have we got here? We've got one of the puzzles back from our, or from the Discord server's um, puzzle prompt about crime. And let's just have a look at the rules. So this is by Reverend, and it's a false alibi Sudoku. Each of nine murder suspects, as the text, has a concrete alibi for the night of the murder. They were each with two friends for the whole night. However, one of the suspects made a mistake and gave two alibis. So not that concrete, possibly, in his case. Your job is to deduce which suspect gave the conflicting alibis and solve the case. So here come the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Good. Each number 1 to 9 is seen in the grid connected to two other identical digits by a king's move. One number is seen in this arrangement twice, and that'll be the murderer. Okay, so how can you connect a digit to two others of the same sort in the grid by a king's move. Well, yeah, there, there are ways to do that. If these three cells were all one, they would all be, or this one would be connected to the other two by a king's move, and that would fulfill the requirement. So each of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are connected by king's moves in this puzzle. It In a kind of a diagonal trio of three and one of them does it twice and that is the killer so fascinating rules quite simple to state I have a feeling this is not going to be simple to solve so thanks very much to Reverend do give it a go on the link below the video um, and I'm gonna try it now so let's get cracking and how do we do that I mean, this seems a plausible arrangement for two. I suppose that does for one as well, just as I was showing. And there are other places. Six, for instance, could be up there. I'm wondering if every time there is a given digit in a possible arrangement, that's useful. Like, if two wasn't there, where could the three twos be? Not here. I think what might help, yeah, what I'm going to do, let's see if this works. So where are the places that three digits can form this arrangement of one touching two others by king's move? I'm going to color these. So we've got, um, let's make those purple. These are possible places where um, these, these arrangements of three could be. Now, there are others. Um, so, not on this diagonal, because there'd always be two in the same box, but those three are possible. 
But Sarah, okay, let's color. Let's color all of those the same color. Let's make them green. There are four possible setups there, although we couldn't be using more than two of them in this puzzle, I don't think. Now, what else is the only oh, yeah, look? There are these. So there's two possible places there, but if either of them were in use, they'd have to be 666, the number of the beast. Um, so there's also two possible places down here, but again, they share a cell. I'm going to make them red as well. Oh yeah, and over here, look at that. I mean, almost every cell in rows two to eight, columns two to eight, is a possible location for this arrangement. So that's quite interesting. These are all the possibles. So let look, we're given three twos. Let's have a look at twos. Where can twos go? So obviously there is possible. Um, the other greens, no, because for instance, as soon as you put a two there, it's clashing with that both in the box um, and on the vertical. In fact, can't be there because that would clash with the two in the box. So only one green is possible. None of these blues, none of these blues is possible because they would all clash either with that or with that in at least one cell. Purples, no, same thing. Those two blues stop all the purples from being 2, 2, 2. For instance, if you took that trio of purples, that one couldn't be a 2. So, ah, this is getting interesting. Blue can't be on, sorry, 2 can't be on blue or purple. Only one green. Can it be on red? Not the top reds. And not the bottom ones either, because they both involve this. The only possible place where twos can occur in this arrangement is there so we can fill those in wow that's quite a bit of logic to get not much done i suppose well i i guess we know this cell can't be on a diagonal because it they can't be the three same digits so let's delete the color there in fact, yeah, this one can't be either because 222 can't run down there because of that, obviously. So there's one there, possibly one green there. I guess, what else can we do with twos, actually? Let's just do a bit of Sudoku. Oops, not like that. Um, two in one of those. Oh, it's not. Well. Ah, two in one of those. Oh yeah, it could be, sorry, this could be a two because just because I've marked it as blue doesn't mean it has to be on a diagonal. There could even be a diagonal there. Um, okay, that's not that helpful. Well, what about sixes, which is the next most populous number? Right, well sixes can't be on the blue because although that one's got a six on it, this cell can't be six. In fact, the central cells of the blues cannot be sixes. The bottom two reds can't be sixes, although maybe the, either of the top two reds could be. Ah, the purples can't be because of where they're positioned there and there. They rule out all the purples and the greens can't be because of that one either. Right. So the sixes, the arrangement of sixes is on a red, but I don't know whether it's that one or that one. Oh, I see, whichever one it is though, it's ruling out the other red possibility. Oh, so what's the total number? We need obviously the nine suspects each have alibis and then there's the one other false alibi as it were or the second false alibi so there are 10 arrangements and we've highlighted all the possible places they can be so there could be two in the green only two in the blue because each would have to use one of those cells only two in the red so that's two four 
six, and then each of the purple must be must be one of these arrangements. I haven't missed any colours. Blue, red, green, purple. Two blue, two red, two green, and four purple. That must be how they're arranged. And that means that each of the greens that we've got left highlighted, each of the purples must be a run of three digits. And then two of the reds and two of the blues. Definitely using these cells. So we can put in nine, nine, and nine. And we've done that one. I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is uncolor the cells that we have filled. So in the remaining colored cells, we are going to have to put runs of three digits. I hope this, I hope I'm being articulate enough to explain what I mean, and I apologize if I'm not. Um, Right, can we use these nines? There's a nine up here somewhere. Nine down there, we can't really, is basically the answer. Oh, although, hang on. Yeah, we can, we really can. Because this cell has to be on a run of three, either one way or another. So it can't be a nine. Oh, well, it couldn't be anyway. Sorry, nine is ruled out from those two. Never mind that. This cell has to be on a run of three one way or the other. So that can't be a nine because you couldn't put a nine there and you clearly couldn't put one there. This cell, I think, also cannot be a nine because you can't put a nine there and you can't put a nine there. So the only place a nine can be in the middle box now is here. And then we can place one here because this green cell can't be a nine because green must be a run. So now we are doing some actual Sudoku. Oh yeah, that, that's fixed nine in this corner. Nobody puts nine in the corner except during a murder mystery puzzle. This can't be nine because it's on the run, yes. <clears throat> when I mean on the run, I don't mean from the cops, I mean on a run of three. And that's all the nines place suddenly. Okay, well this is coming now. I mean, I was a bit mystified at first how we could do anything with so few givens, but now, now I'm really getting it. Okay, so what is the green going to be? It can't, it can't be any number that any of those green cells can see, because they must be the identical. So it can't be 2, 6, 5, 9, 8, 1, or 7. So green is 3 or 4. Um, hmm. Then what? Right, this blue, that can't be part of the blue, can it? Because that would be six, six, six there, which would meet a six there. So those two are not on a run. Those three are, are definite. Run. What can they be? 2615903. Oh, 4, 7, or 8. Okay, let's just keep going with possibilities like this. Um, it's better to look at the ones that are definitely placed. So this set of purples can't be 261 or nine, oh, or three. And it could still be four, five, eight, or seven. In fact, five could easily be on both these purples. I think five is quite likely to be on murderer, to be honest. It would be a very symmetrically neat arrangement if five was there, so that's often the right way to look at it. Right, what could this red be? Well, it could clearly be a three, but only going down this way. Could be a four. Anything else it would be would have to go down this way. It can't be two, six, five, nine, eight, or one. Or seven, because seven sees that cell and that cell. So this is three or four as well. 
Oh, no, this is three or four as well. It's either four coming down here or three coming down here. Oh, and I don't know which. But I've got a three, four pair in the center box now. Oh, and in the column. Let's just do that. But in the center box, this can't be four. So that run of three is not four. That's seven or eight. This remaining cell in the central box must also be seven or eight. So the two blues are a run of seven and a run of eight. But they, yeah, if, if it came down here, it would obviously be eight because of that seven. But at the top, they could be either. Okay, um, I know, what's, okay, I mustn't forget that I've done twos and nines once each already. I know, I'm going to mark them off in grey in the central box, just to show myself I've done that, that number at least once. Now, three and four, so three and four are on the green and the red. Six is also on the red, but in the north part of the grid. Seven and eight are on the blue. Right, so the remaining purples must include five, which could be in any of them, and one, which could not be in any of them. It can't touch that cell or that cell. So this group of cells are ones. Right, so I'm uncolouring those, greying in that one. One is done. One can't be the murderer because you can't get another one into any of the remaining cells. In fact, two, I don't think, can be the murderer, or nine. So these gray cells that we've marked might be indicative of who can't be the murderer. But I suppose these could still be sixes? No, they couldn't. I don't think six can be the murderer either, but anyway. Wow, okay, so. Two, one, seven, nine. Do we have to do Sudoku now? No, hang on. We were going to say five is in at least one of these purples. Yeah, doesn't really help. That's weird. Oh, I said two. If two was there, which is one of the possibilities here, that would break this as a possible run. So. The seven and eight runs would both be up here in a V-shape. I don't know. I'm not sure how that helps. Two could be there. Let's just do a bit more Sudoku. Ah, oh, well, yes, okay. Two is interesting. Two is res restricted to those two cells in box seven. Now, these two can't be twos. That one because of that two, and this one because the purples have to be a run of the same digits, and that one can't be a two. So, two is not there or there. Ah, two is in one of the red cells, therefore, in row seven, and is breaking whichever one it's in. But that could still be... Oh, no, look, it can't be in that one because of that two. Sorry. Brilliant. So two is there, and these two cells cannot be in a run because they can't be two, two, two. So this is a definite run. It includes a three. Now we know where the threes are. So I'm going to turn that three gray to show I've done the threes run, get rid of those. Now that makes the greens fours. That's clear enough. And again, one of them goes gray to show I've done fours at least once. Get rid of the others. Now, these two cells are five and eight, and they're both... No, the blue isn't a definite run. Ah, oh, um... Oh, but the purple is a definite run, so those must also be five or eight. Um... Ah, oh, and this one can't be eight. Right, so fives are here. So we've done fives. So five can go grey in the centre. We can white out those cells or delete the colour. 
This is now eight, but I still don't know if that is 888 or whether there's a chance that that's 777 up there. Do I? Do I? No, I don't think I do. Right, this is now a 1-3 pair. We can put a 4 in here and we've got a 2-6 pair flanking it. These two are 8 and 7, which puts 2 there. Got a 4-5 pair and a 6-7 pair. Lots of unresolved stuff down here now. Um, I keep seeing that 8 and thinking, oh, clearly that's 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. But it doesn't have to be. 2-6. What am I missing here? Um, this set of purples can't be one, two, three, six, nine, seven because of where seven's positioned there. So it's four, five, or eight, and is going to be the murderer. Whatever's on these purples is the murderer. But I don't know whether it's four, five, or eight yet. Four, actually. It has to be in one of these two cells, so there is a chance it's four. Although my suspicions are still with five. Actually, five has to be in one of these two cells as well. So this is not eight. That's a pair, a four or five pair in, in the box now. Because of Sudoku, because we've got these fours and fives here. Wow, okay, so this unsurprisingly can be seven or eight or three this could be three or eight um, still don't know which way up the six goes that's irritating right nine two one four five three must be placed here in the box which puts one and six over here Uh, oh, one of these is a seven. Is that, does that fix? No, because it could still go eight, eight, eight. <laughs> so clever. Um, nine, one, six, seven, eight, two. These are from three, four, and five, giving us a three, four, because of the column, giving us a three, four, five triple in the box. Nine, two. Oh, I must be looking at this the wrong way. I just must be. Six, eight, and seven. Possibilities there. What am I missing here? Five, five. One of these is a five. No, that doesn't clear anything up. Oh, this is fascinating. Right. Four, four. One of these two is a four, but the sixes could go up there, so that could still be the four, and these could be the murderous fives. Two, seven, nine. Oh, three has to be in one of these cells. Ah, oh, this is getting interesting, because if three is here, then the sixes go up here. Ah, oh, there must be some simple bit of regular Sudoku that I am not seeing here that resolves everything. That is six, seven, or eight. So one is over here somewhere. Come on, man. It's nine, five, nine, three, four, five, one. I just don't know which of these is a two. Still, I'm left not sure about sevens and eights. Um, no, it's only in those positions I definitely know that that is one seven and one eight, because up here these might not be in the alibi. Um, oh, what am I missing? Come on, come on. Four or five, you are the murderer. And I think it's five. Right, we've got a four-five pair here. Is that any use? 
No, it just means these come from one, six, seven or eight, which I kind of knew anyway. Wow, one, three, seven and six still to go. I'm just not getting to the end of this. Nine, seven, four. That could be two, six or eight. One of these is a five. Oh, one of those is a five. And whichever one it is must see one of these purple cells and stop that being five, five, five. Ah, so five is not the murderer. There he is innocently sitting there. These are fours. Four is the murderer. I'm going to uncolor those. And that is now a five. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if that is the way through or just the way I eventually unblocked myself. Um, right, those are fours. We must be able to finish off all fours in the grid. Oh, we've already done it. Okay, nice. Five, five. There's a five up here and a five there. Oh, and one of these two is... Ah, oh, this isn't four now, obviously. Oh, I still don't know which way six goes, and I don't know which... Wow, seven and eight work down here at all. Oh, so I'm still not done. Um, six. Is there a six that... Whichever of these is a six is breaking one of these, but I don't know which it is. Six in one of those... I don't know where six goes up here. Oh, this is driving me mad now. Nine, four, five. I think I'm getting too close. Two, six, seven or eight there. Honestly, you'd think once you've cracked the case, you'd be able to finish the puzzle. Now, one of those is a five, I was saying, and I didn't put them in. Um... eight in this row is that no it's not particularly telling seven eight pair are oh, these can't be four that's a three five pair which again doesn't really help unless we could rule out three from here can't quite do that Oh, good grief, Mark. Come on, think about this. Right, this can't be 8 anymore. Now, if this was 777, seven, seven, is that a problem? 7 would be here in one of those. These would be 8s. I can't see why. Now, whichever of these is a six will have seven at the bottom, eight there, and then either three or five at the top, which will form a pair with that. So that can't be three, which seem and it can't be eight anymore. So it's one, six or seven. And that still doesn't quite resolve anything. Oh, come on. Three or five at the top to go with a five or three there. So What can that be? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fives in one of those. That doesn't stop that being a five. I don't know which way up the six goes. This is... Maybe this has been obvious for ages. If six went up this way, six would have to be there. It doesn't really resolve anything else. If six went up this way, six would be there and there. 
and here, and that doesn't fix. Ah, six cannot go up that way because the six in row one would have to be here, and that is not a six. Good grief. Right, so six goes up that way. Let's get rid of all the coloring of red up there. We don't need it anymore. Six has been done. We just have seven and eight to do. Um, now, with those sixes in place, one, this is not a six. This is not a six. That's not really relevant. One of these is a six. That one's not. Oh, one of these is a seven. Is that helpful? I don't see why. Um, we've got three. Ah, oh, five now does go here. In fact, that six, as I was saying, sorts out the pairs in columns four and six. If I get them right. Ah, oh, and those, those have now resolved the remaining alibis. Sevens must go up there because they can't come down to that eight there. Let's finish off the coloring. We now have all of the alibis established and two for number four, the murderer. And surely we have now finished off the puzzle. So three and eight, one and five, eight, four, nine, six, seven there. Eight, seven, six, seven. Um, come on, just keep thinking. Right, a one, six pair, three goes there, one there. Oh, that three, five pair's been resolved. One, six, seven, that's a six, one. Seven, be careful now and don't make a mistake at this point of the puzzle because that would be absolutely humiliating. Three eight pair, so that's not an eight. Two six pair, that's a one. Six. Oh. Have I got a deadly pattern forming here? No, that's a three, that's an eight. That's a, a three. I've got a 2-6 deadly pattern. Oh my god, what have I done wrong here? Is this resolved by... something from earlier? Right, let's just check all my uh, alibis. So, one there, two here. Three. Three is here. Four is here. Five. Oh, four is also there. So I'll do the same color red for the bloody murderer. Yellow there. Six was up at the top. Seven. Gonna have to go green again. Eight was up here. Um, let's call that blue and nine. Didn't use that. No, it was up there. So that's none of those are touching these cells, which cannot be two and six there because I've got six here. Right. So I'm just writing the wrong numbers. I'm losing my mind entirely. Please tell me this is right. I'm scared. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. And there we go. I've made an absolute foul up of that, but I got to the case. I got to the uh, murderer in the end. Fours were the killers. And if you suspected that from the start, well done. I had suspicions elsewhere, especially on fives. That's a lovely puzzle, actually. I mean, it really is nice. It, you shouldn't judge it by how badly I was messing up towards the end there with my wrong pencil marks and so on. But at least I don't think I made any logical errors. I'm sure you'll tell me if I did. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Well done if you did better on that puzzle than me. There is every chance that you did. Um, a really interesting exercise. And uh, I hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.